Here is Portugal. They are cutting the bark. You might think they are collecting dry bark for fuel, but it's not. They collect this bark called cork. When you hear cork, you may sound unfamiliar, but in reality, many people have seen and used cork products. The red cork on the red wine bottle is made of this cork. The question is, can the tree survive after its bark is cut? First, let me give you a popular science. Cork is not a tree species. It's the cork layer of a tree, which is the outer bark of the tree. Take Portugal as an example. They cut the bark of the Quercus suber. Quercus suber is a deciduous tree. Its bark is particularly developed, and when it reaches a certain thickness, it can be peeled off. Professional harvesters will ensure that only the outer bark is peeled off, leaving a healthy inner layer. So, cutting cork does not affect its growth. Its bark is regenerative. It can be peeled again in 9 to 12 years. The cork has very good elasticity, sealing properties, thermal insulation, and sound insulation, besides being made into leaks. Also used to make flooring in some areas due to its lightness and comfort. It is also often made into soles and insoles and is very popular among local people. Look at these patterns, as natural and delicate as marble. This is the first class cork we purchased from the Amarin factory. It has a high density, is oily, and has good elasticity after being made into cork fabric. It is soft and not easy to crack.